Good morning. This is Adrian, one of the pastors at Twin Lakes Church, joining you for today's video devotional. Uh, I spoke at Twin Lakes Church this past weekend uh, in Matthew chapter 15, and there were a few verses that we couldn't get to because of time, and I wanted to hit those this week in our video devos. And one of them uh, is Matthew 15, verses 3 through 6, and Jesus is responding to these Pharisees and scribes, uh, confronting him about his disciples not washing their hands before eating uh, as a part of these traditions that the, they had created on top of God's rules. They had created all these extra rules that you were supposed to follow. And one of the rules was you're supposed to wash your hands before you eat. And they were really upset that they saw the disciples not do this. And so this is how Jesus, Jesus responds to them, starting in verse three. And why do you, by your traditions, violate the direct commandments of God? For instance, God says, honor your father and mother, and anyone who speaks disrespectfully of father or mother must be put to death. But you say it is all right for people to say to their parents, sorry, can't help you, for I have vowed to give to God what I would have given to you. In this way, you say they don't need to honor their parents. And so you cancel the word of God for the sake of your own traditions. And so... What Jesus is saying is you've created all these extra rules and because you've done that, people have uh, used them to break God's commands. And in this case, uh, you know, God, one of God's commands is honor your father and mother. And at that time, it, it meant, you know, honoring them, respecting them, but also taking care of them as they got older, taking care of them when they were in need. And uh, that could be a financial need. And so they also had this now rule that the Pharisees had created over time that said, if you owed anybody anything uh, and you decided to give what you owed them to God, then that canceled out that debt that you had. So you didn't have to owe that person. Uh, and so people were using this rule as a loophole to get out of helping their own parents. And so they would tell their parents, sorry, I was going to give you this money, but I donated it to the temple. So sorry, you're out of luck. And so Jesus is saying, you made this rule and it is causing people to break God's command. I think what Jesus is getting at and what we talked about this past weekend is this danger that the Pharisees found themselves in, which was they created all these extra rules on top of God's laws because they wanted to attain righteousness. They wanted to uh, become holy and cleanse themselves uh, by creating these rules that they had created themselves. And that's an issue because you can follow rules that you create. And so they found themselves in that uh, in that trap they had created. And so that's why they thought they were doing perfectly fine. And when Jesus came to them and started confronting them, they're like, what are you talking about? We're following all the rules like we have been following. But Jesus was saying, you haven't been uh, you haven't been affecting your heart, which is the issue here. And while we read this passage, we can think, oh, thank goodness we're not like the Pharisees. And thank goodness this problem is something that's an issue so long ago. I think we also have the uh, danger of falling into the same trap because I don't know about you, but I grew up in uh, the church that I went to growing up. And uh, even myself, uh, that church and myself created rules, created these extra rules, making you think you're doing great. Uh, I don't say this, I don't go here, I don't go there, I don't watch this, I don't listen to this. And you create all these extra rules that we don't find anywhere, that God hasn't commanded us, but you think, well, if I do this, that means I'm a good Christian. And I feel like there are two big issues with that. One is you can uh, fail at those rules and feel so guilty and feel like God doesn't like you, doesn't love you, and you can't earn his love. And and that is a, that is a huge issue. The second one is, you can use those rules as a way to judge others because you look at another person and say, well, at least I don't do what they're doing or I'm not going where they're going. I'm a way better Christian than them. What God calls us to do is to focus on his love and his grace. And like he says, our salvation isn't about what we've done, but about what Jesus has done on the cross and his resurrection. So today I want to encourage you, don't fall into the same trap as the Pharisees, but focus on God's love and his grace. And have a great day and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.